Not a good day for Bixie. The spa broke and the wings folded up while it was in flight and it came in and that's it. So that's very disconcerting. Look at that. I mean, right in the center of the plane it broke. I don't know what that's all about, but that's weird. Oh well. I don't know what's going on with that spa. That's really weird. So, oh well. Back to the drawing board. Well, here's the post-mortem on poor little Bixler. Um, took it right on the nose. <laughs> so what happened? Well, as you saw in the uh, previous installment here, we had a failure of the wing spa right in the uh, inside the fuselage. So I have no idea what's going on with that, but I'll give you a little close-up look and you can take a look at that. Let's see. Uh, I would not recommend this wing spa. Um, it was an absolutely perfect day to fly. No wind. Uh, this plane never did any aerobatics. It was uh, in the test phases using uh, uh, camera uh, occasionally. Uh, not a big deal. Not an awful lot of stress uh, weight to pick up. So this is interesting. Uh, everything uh, seems to be intact internally. Of course, uh, with the exception of what the cockpit looks like. Uh, the battery it seems fine. I'll pull that out in a minute. But here's what we want to look at right here. That failed and I have no idea why. No indication uh, of anything other than it just failed. <laughs> it's just weird. Okay, battery uh, not swollen. Obviously took a hit, but I'll check it electrically, but mechanically still looks fine. The motor pod, in terms of uh, after the collision, I mean, that thing just went nose in, but everything seems to be fine here. I'll run tests on this uh, in a bit. And look at that, the connector it's decoupled one of the lines right there. Very interesting. I guess uh, unless that spa is replaced, I really wouldn't recommend this for the uh, activities that I had uh, previous thought it would be good for. A plane flies very well. However, when the wings fold up as you're watching it fly, uh, you know what's going to happen next, and that's exactly what happened. So um, I'll try it again, but uh, change that spa to something more substantial and solid, and uh, this the spa was uh, nothing more than a uh, uh, hollow tube, so probably not enough. Well, onward. If you look at the way the spa failed, this was not an in-flight failure. This was due when it collapsed and broke this way when it uh, on impact. The uh, the reason the wings folded. You remember these little attachments? They're still there. Unfortunately, I didn't have the uh, rubber band attached. So it was not the failure of the carbon rod, although I would reinforce it. So mulling over the failure of the folding up of the wings, um, <laughs> the spot didn't fail in flight. What happened was the, on the first flight, uh, the elastic that hold, the rubber band that holds the wings together, uh, it was not uh, properly placed. And as a result of that, <laughs> as you would expect to happen, the wings just came up and did one of these. And that's exactly as I'm playing it over in my head, exactly what happened. So this is not a failure of the equipment, but once again, <laughs> failure of uh, the pilot, pilot error, uh, in that the pre-flight check uh, was not made, and uh, you got to check everything. So Bixler is good, 
Uh, another one is on order, and uh, we'll be back in the air with uh, Bixler.